American engineers opened the MiG-25 expecting to find inferior Soviet technology. What they found humbled them. The initial reaction to everything was mockery. Steel instead of titanium. Vacuum tubes instead of transistors. Alcohol instead of synthetic coolant. Hand welding instead of automation. By American standards, it was primitive. But as the examination continued, something shifted. Every crude choice served a purpose, steel they could actually produce. Vacuum tubes that survived nuclear EMP, alcohol coolant, any mechanic could replenish in a frozen Siberian field. The MIG-25 wasn't an attempt to copy American engineering with worse materials. It was a completely different philosophy. Optimize for what you can build, not what you wish you could build. Reliability over refinement. Producibility over performance. Operational effectiveness over technical elegance. And within its intended role, the aircraft worked brilliantly. American intelligence had spent a decade assuming different meant inferior. The MiG-25 taught them that different sometimes means optimized for constraints they never had to face. That lesson, learned in a Japanese hangar in 1976, changed how America assessed every Soviet weapon system that followed. Subscribe for more history that challenges what you think you know.